What's going on, people? We are just starting the Oregon BDR. Woo! Thanks for joining us. All right, we have driven a long ways. Um, you know, we got to this desert earlier today. And it's, it's really beautiful. So on this trip, who do we got? We got John, we got myself, Micah. Uh, Sarah's with us, she's driving the Xterra, and uh, my daughter Chloe's uh, with us. So, oh, and, and Goose, of course. Goose. Yep. We haven't technically started the BDR yet, but we're, you know, 10 minutes from, from the start of it, so. We're just taking it easy tonight, and we're gonna we're gonna get on it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Get up early and and get started. Uh, you know, section one. It's looking like is gonna be very long and very desolate. Yeah. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing what we encounter, and uh, and we're probably gonna try to to breeze through uh, all that open desert. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. From what we've heard, there's not a lot of camping opportunities. So yeah. And you know, we're trying to make some headway, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. The Albert Desert was amazing. You have to try to camp here if you're starting in section one, or even if you're going south to north, you can still camp here the last night.
Heart Mountain Refuge Office. We uh, almost done with section one. I think, what do we got? Maybe 20 miles left or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it's like 20 or 30 miles. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, there's this ranch here and they have, uh, they have water for free air and yeah. um, air if you wanted to air up your tires. You like section one so far? It's okay. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of getting over it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, beautiful scenery, but then, yeah, you get, uh, you do it for long enough and it gets old. Yeah. We've ran into uh, a, a decent amount of people, another uh, Jeep, and then uh, actual uh, a big group of uh, BDR actual riders behind us. Um, so it's funny, I think we've seen more um, more people on this first section of the Oregon BDR than I've seen yeah. doing the whole Washington BDR twice. Yeah. Yeah, when you're doing section one, you can see who's out here because you're just in a desert that is flat, even though it's 5,000 feet and you just see dust trails. So if there's people anywhere remotely near you within 20, 30 miles, you'll see their dust trail. So yeah, we're gonna keep on and see what see if we can find some camp here pretty soon. Hell yeah. It's moving. Get it, Goose. Get it, Goose. Get it, Goose. Get it. Get it, Goose. Get it, Where's it going? Get it, Goose. Get it, Goose. Get it. He's just snorting. He's gonna bite it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Did it bite you? Get it, Goose. Get it, Goose. It bite Grom in his face. He's drooling. Get it, Goose. Get it, Goose. What is that? Get it. Get it, Goose. He's freaked out by it too. <laughs> He's freaked out by it. He's like, I don't like bugs either. Get a goose. Get a goose. Get it. Get it. <laughs> so we just finished up section one and we're in uh, the little town of Plush. And unfortunately, the only gas pump here has overheated. So we're just gonna, we did the calculations. Section two is a hundred miles. We have about a hundred miles till empty, plus our jerry cans. So we're pushing it, uh, but I think it's better to just go do it than sit around here and wait for who knows how long, if it's even ever gonna be fixed today. So it's fun, fun adventure.
Yeah. Section yeah. three. So, cool. so we're would be right in here somewhere. We're about a, maybe a quarter of the way through uh, section two. <laughs> And looks the sun goes the Sun River, and it, what I find interesting is Section Four Bend is right in the middle of it. But, yeah. um, but what do you what do we gotta see tomorrow? Pine Mountain, the volcanic Newberry National yeah. Volcanic Monument. Yeah, that's the bon a bonus is Paulina Summit. Paulina Summit, Summit. Well, we gotta try for the bonus. We didn't, we didn't see uh, uh, a couple things up close that I wanted to see. Yeah, 100 miles, and then section four is 63 miles. That's that's the short one. Section five, 85. Section six, 89. Section seven, 78. That's been really cool so far. Yeah. So many different landscapes. Yeah. Well, it's cool. I like how we're we can't be here on the uh, right on the tree line. Right on the tree line, yeah. Yeah. Because when we. Uh, the desert where we just came from. Yeah, I so I flew the drone up. You just see the straight line. You can see the tree line right there. Yeah. There's all trees behind it's us. It's crazy how that happens. Yeah. Like it's not like like we there's huge tamaracks and it's not like it's like scattered with tamaracks and then then it's a lot. It's just like yeah, you're in the forest. A few that made it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Oregon's just got a vast landscape. Yeah. I think that's the best part, and my favorite part of a BDR is uh, is watching the, the landscape change and the, the climate change. Yeah, it's uh, that, I, I think that's my favorite part of it. Yeah, that's what makes. I mean, this campsite really cool. It's just we're on that 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 verge of landscape change. A yeah. bunch of trees tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited for section three. Yeah, or all the rest of it. I mean, the desert was fun, but. Yeah, when you're going through it, it seems like it's never ending. Yeah, and it's it's cool. It really is cool. And, and there's 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 nothing technical. About it's it. not technical. Yeah. We pretty much breeze through most of it. I think our my average on Gaia was like eighteen or nineteen miles per hour. Yeah, it averaged out yeah. for from 14, right. 14 hours of driving. Well, because a lot of times we'd be on these dirt roads going thirty five. Yeah. 40 and and staging back from each other because of the dust but yeah i really want to visit the uh Alvord desert again if we happen to ever be in the most rem one of the most remote places in the continental united states again yeah that that's one of the crazy things to think about it, yeah and it really seemed that way yeah it really did and i felt like when when we were there i felt like yeah this is pretty remote pretty desolate but now that I'm looking back, like, it was really yeah, remote. It was really desolate. And it was really unique, too. Yep. I feel like the start of Section 1, I was kind of thinking back, you know. It felt it, like a different planet. It, different planet. You know, different really color. It's still a desert, like Section 2. It's all sort of one of the same. Mm -hmm. But it was just different. I don't know. The shades of, of the you know, plants were different. The rocks were different. I mean, yep. the landscape was different. The mountains were different. Yep. yep. Very different. It just had a different feel. Yeah. You know, and we're not used to being at this kind of elevation, you know, and that kind of terrain, you know. Yeah. It's it's crazy that, you know, just to think that <clears throat> we were at four or 5,000 feet this, you know, whole, whole trip so so far. And, you know, that's usually where we're, we're at when we're going up mountains. In, right. You know, in Washington. Yep. You know. Yeah, and looking through the actual Oregon BDR, like, I think there's a small section where you're, like maybe 2,000 feet, but it's yeah. almost all over 4,000 feet with like 7,000 feet peaks and stuff. That's crazy. What you cooking, buddy? This one? Doing some ground beef for some tacos, burritos. Put some yeah. in it. Hell yeah. Oh, you need this one? No, it wasn't that. It, it had the long antenna like that and it kind of had the body shape, but it was brown. It doesn't have a long antenna. Hmm. Yeah, this is just where the end of the beetles are. I don't know. It was like this one, but it was it didn't have black as more brown. Yeah.
discuss? What's wrong? What's wrong, Lassie? So it's Monday morning, or it's not Monday morning. All right, well, it's uh, Monday afternoon. Just got done with section three. Uh, went through uh, Sun River, which is a cool little town. You can tell a lot of people go there for vacation. It was packed for uh, Fourth of July weekend. So uh, stopped there, got some gas, got some ice, and uh, now we're, we're hopping on to section four. Uh, section three was a lot of fun. It was nice, uh, nice to see trees again, and we're uh, we're excited to to see what's ahead on uh, section four. Yeah. What do you think, John? Yeah, I'm excited. Section three is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Really beautiful, beautiful parts. Uh, just the trees coming out of the desert, and yes, yeah, yeah, all the sections have been great. Yeah. So far, section three. Is awesome. I wish we could have spent two days there just exploring. It's beautiful. Yeah. But I think we have some uh, some, some cool stuff ahead, huh? Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Can you get down, buddy? Yeah, it looks cool. I'm one of the cool guys now. Yeah, you're you're a cool Jeep guy. You're yeah. flexing. Yeah, it looks badass. All right, now let's do the Xterra. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's so crazy. I mean, it's so cool. Guys, come here. Like at first, I thought they were moss, but they're butterflies. Yeah. And they're, the, the bees are working together, and like the bees are gathering pollen off of the butterflies. They like whatever is here. Or they just don't want it at all. Mm, it's, it's I've never been sitting around with these. I've always pet them. Yeah. It's so cute and small. It's trying to lick, like it's licking my finger. Trying to get your pollen. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh, I got another butterfly on me. <laughs> Oh my god, it feels amazing. Here, Chloe, shine the light back here so we can see. <laughs> Woo! The next stop for us was Cash Mountain. It's an optional viewpoint, but as you'll find out, we really recommend doing it.
I think we have found the best camping site of the trip. It's called Cache Mountain. It's optional. It is pretty technical to get up here, but it is incredible. It is 360 degrees of views. You're probably gonna get pinstripes. If you, even if you have a Jeep, you might get some pinstripes if you care about that. Um, but it's totally worth it to come up here. Deer. Find out if he can swim. This was called Big Lake. There's a campground here. There's a lot of people staying there. It was a pretty nice campground. Um, we just stopped here to refill water before we continued on.
So we're just uh, now just hanging out. Yep, back in. Yep. Um, we got kind of a little bit of a shower. Um, we were feeling pretty grimy. What were we saying that uh, um, we had a, a layer of uh, sunblock, then dirt, then more sunblock, and more dirt, yeah. then then mosquito spray, and it's just you just start to feel nasty. So it feels good to get cleaned up a little bit. A uh, nice quiet spot, a uh, nice lake to kind of <laughs> go hang out at. A goose. Would Would you hear goose? Probably maybe a deer. We saw a deer earlier. Yeah. They get bigger. It's like they should be get a little bit bigger. Probably. It's like a gecko. What the heck is the difference? So crazy. <laughs> We camped here at Clear Lake. It's an optional point of interest. Highly, highly, highly recommend you do stop here and camp here. It is 
so refreshing to stop and swim in the lake and uh, just enjoy the view and it's it, it was a highlight of the trip for sure Morning, buddy. What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful out here. Yeah, that's nice. All right, we are on section seven. Uh, beautiful Mount Hood behind us. Uh, we're it's potentially our last night out here, so um, we're gonna try to get some some miles in today. I think section seven is like 80 miles or so. Um, Judging by the looks of it, it's probably mostly pavement, so it'll probably be able to go pretty fast, but uh, it's probably gonna be our, our last night out here, so we'll see. Too, too scary. You know what, Chloe, Chloe asked me, what, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? And I'm like, well, we're just, we're, we're, we're doing Jeep stuff. Yeah, Jeep things. Yeah, because we can do it, so we do. We're almost done with the trail, so we're, we're stopping like, why don't we just climb on that rock? Like, <laughs> why not? <laughs> just Jeep yeah, shit. Just Jeep shit, that's what we're doing. Yeah, you can't climb. 
on that stump, if you were wondering. <laughs> Can't like be walk, done. It's like to walk the same with the Jeep. He slowly just drives away like. It's just freaking out. That's what I'm scared of. They just think it's a mountain of sacrifice. Wake up number 37. So we are really excited because uh, we just got done. We did it. Yeah. So a couple hours ago, we got uh, got towards the end of the trail. Didn't find a whole lot of camp spots at the end of uh, at the end of section seven. So we just decided to cross into Washington and stay at one of our favorite campsites that we camped at actually on the last night of the Washington BDR. So. We're really excited. It's uh, it's been a hell of a trip. Yeah, it has. Yeah, uh, we're we're tired. We're dirty. Um, we're we're ready to go home, but we're not. So, I uh, hope you guys uh, all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and uh, and check out our Patreon. We got a lot of good stuff coming out, and a lot of good stuff in the library. We're gonna post our campsites from the Oregon BDR. Uh, on our Patreon, so if you're interested, check that out. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, we stayed in a lot yeah, of good places. A lot of good camp spots. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, see you next time.